Well, on to another election. Since early morning, teachers who are members of the Bahamas Union of Teachers have been casting ballots to fill some executive positions. Our Carla Palmer explains which positions were being contested today and which ones will have to wait and why. Secretary General of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Mr. John Musgrove, is advocating peace, patience, and respect for one another as some 4,000 of his colleagues here in New Providence and throughout the family islands vote in this year's union elections. The poll was supposed to, to open up at 8 a.m. Uh, we had a slight glitch at Holy Cross, but uh, by 8.15 everything was in operation. Uh, the family islands went well. I have done a check. Uh, all the polls are opened. All the ballots are, have arrived. Voting began at 8 a.m. and Musgrove, whose post is also being contested, says the process got off to a relatively good start. We uh, usually would have more than two poll individuals, but today apparently there are numerous graduations going on, and so Workers' House and BCPOU Hall that we would usually use were unavailable, <laughs> and so we are uh, uh, unfortunately are just stuck with two. A Holy Cross, uh, hopefully that will satisfy all the schools on the eastern part of the island, east of East Street, and then we have Walker Soil. The BUT's elections this year is quite unusual. For the first time in as many years, the union will be conducting two elections in the space of a year. Three of 15 positions are not being contested due to a recent court order. They include president, treasurer, and a trustee, as persons holding those positions are on suspension and the matter remains before the courts. Zane Lightburn is acting president of the BUT. We as a leader of the executive committee and the organization seek to do the right thing and we are guided by our principles, our outlying constitutional objectives and we also in this case um, have to be guided by what the courts have determined since we have been pulled into court. And so with justice and fairness for all of this is what it takes, I seek to continue to serve in that stead. We continue to be strong and this is about the organization and the future of education and therefore we look forward to today's proceedings going without a hitch. Sidney Curtis is a teacher stationed in North Luthra. He says he's voting for people whom he feels are honest and accountable. And what I'm looking for in this particular election is that we have a, a stronger and a more vocal and focused team of executives who are going to be able to show proper transparency when it comes to union funding, uh, union projects such as uh, helping teachers to advance academically through the various colleges and the allowance of scholarship, time off from work to study in order that teachers can advance themselves to be, able, to be, better, to be better equipped to handle this, this pressure in the classroom. The Department of Labor is supervising the elections. Once the polls close at 5 o'clock, officials estimate the results to be made public shortly thereafter. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.